Emmanuel Macron really wants to put on a good show uh, for the Olympic Games and a strike uh, is not part of the plan. Uh, now, earlier this month, we had the French Senate that uh, passed a bill uh, which would essentially allow the government uh, to ban uh, strikes taking place during certain times of the year. For example, the Olympic Games, which run from the end of July uh, to uh, early August. Uh, however, that bit of legislation will next go to the National Assembly where it's expected to face uh, an uphill battle. Uh, we do have, for instance, the uh, RATP, which is the uh, rail service provider for the Greater Paris region that has issued a seven-month strike notice. They did that in uh, February, and that strike notice runs all the way to September. So it essentially allows them uh, to go on strike. Now, it does, we're not sure what exactly uh, air traffic controllers plan on doing because we don't know the terms uh, they agreed to yesterday because they had threatened uh, to strike in the month of May because in, here in France in the month of May we have uh, many public holidays and they had threatened to strike during long weekends in May. So we'll have to see uh, if, uh, if we expect disruptions uh, to take place uh, in the run-up to the Olympics.